Previously on Sunset Tan, world tanning convention means uh, world domination. Stay tan and sexy, baby. Yeah. Okay, little girl, step away. That's ridiculous. The Ollie girls are pulling this stunt. Nick and Anya were seriously getting it on right in front of me. Did you guys are dicks? I'm leaving. I want it out. <laughs> so there's nothing I can do to get you to stay? Right now, I'm totally done. Hi, Rusty. He's big. Well, we saw this horse like towing a log, and we were bored. So we figured, well, the horse could pull us too. So we sat on the log, and it didn't work out how we thought it would. <laughs> the horse doesn't understand English, so we're like, slow down. And it's not like the log goes straight; it like turns. It was and, like, rolling. So scary. <laughs> it was a lot so of much fun. So <laughs> we fell off. Yeah, that thing hurt. <laughs> about um, you know some of the issues now with obviously Heidi and uh... see what was that all about her leaving the ranch I mean I, I ran out I don't know where you're at but I went out and tried to get her because I'm like please stay I, I begged her basically and she uh, she ended up leaving wouldn't do it and I brought everyone out here hoping that we kind of bond together have a good time we did that um, unfortunately Heidi had enough of it and she wanted to, to bounce out I mean I'm not gonna force her to stay um, so I had to let her go it's unfortunate but it happens dude after her walking out on that I, I really don't work. care exactly so Whatever, dude, it is what it is, but... Oh, boy. Hello? Hey, Ty. Oh. Hey, sweetie. I just snuck away from everybody for a second. They were all kind of checking the place out, so I've only got a minute. Okay. What's, uh, what's going on there? You know, there's some drama, of course, like always, for a second, but whatever. I'm coming to visit you. It's fine. I just can't wait to get back. Hey, I miss you. I miss you, too. I better head back. All right, I'll talk to you later, all right? All right, sweetie, I miss you. Bye. Bye. Baby, right. come on, stop being a little... I don't, I don't like horses. Come on. Sonny, okay. get on the horse! Hey, 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 hey. I really don't like horses. Um, I fell off a horse when I was um, a kid. It's like a motorcycle. Unless my feet hit the ground, I'm not getting on it. All right, Nick, let's see if we got something for you. Show me. Oh. Get on that thing. You got, you got a bond with him. He's feisty. Yeah. Is he bite? He's feisty. Well. He ain't gonna kick me? He won't kick me. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. See, that's why I ain't getting Oh, oh. All right, that's enough. All right, I'll get, little, I'll get on the big one. Oh, Shaq loves me. He's blowing on my boobs. I love horses so much. I don't have much experience riding horses, but I adore animals. Oh, he's pretty. Yeah, that's... And blonde. Is, What's uh, his name? This is April. That's my birthday. So Devin scheduled a horseback ride, which I'm so excited about. I've ridden horses my whole life. I used to be a wrangler. So I'm I'm more interested in watching all the entertainment that the horses will provide. Woo! Ride him, Cowboy! Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, 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 come on. No, right, go right, go right, go right, go right. Come on. Hey, hey. One, two, three. Ah! Big horse. All right, see? Woo. All right, boys, you're going to take care of me, OK? You guys ready? Good job, Nick. I'm gonna go, buddy. Nick, you're gonna pass me up. I don't know. I mean, maybe it was just getting comfortable. I don't know. I mean, it was fun. It was actually a lot of fun. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say I want to stay here, but, you know, I, I wouldn't mind coming back or being around horses again. I definitely love being on the ranch. I think everybody kind of bonded together, so it was a good experience. Riding horses at the ranch was actually a great idea. It's working. You know, it's been great for you know the team building and bonding. And guess what? No more drama. Thank God. Oh, oh, I'm riding this horse. Horses were dope, man. I, I I thought I was scared of horses until I actually got up to them. Once you get used to them, once you ride them, uh, it was fun. I had a great time on them. Hands down, most improved uh, is Nick, man. That guy pulled through. I mean, he went from total a horse phobia to you know horse whisper. It's automatic transmission. I'm just gonna let it rope. You, See, there, Nick's not that bad now, is it? Whatever. Hey, 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 watch out for that tree. You're going to knock my leg off. <laughs> Which way are you going, Devin? We're going to go through the uh, woods here. Uh, okay. Nick, be careful. You guys turn around. OK. Turn around. One eight. We're going this way. Come on. She's scared. 
Mm. You able to hold on to it now? She, I am. She's scared. I'm kicking her really hard. Aaron! Oh my God. We didn't know what, what happened, you know, broke her back, broke her neck. She was just laying there still. Aaron was raised on horses, you know, and, and, and all of a sudden she's seriously hurt. And it was like a little surreal and scary. Oh my God, I hope she's okay. She can't move her arms. It's like totally from, it's I think puffy. It's dislocated or. It's, oh, it's all black and blue. What about your neck right here? Is it all right? Ow. Okay, yeah, back forward. Ow. It was scary. I mean, I, I knew she was hurt. I didn't know to what extent. Okay. Yeah, okay, man. She's in a full back stretcher, you know, full neck brace, laid out. Um, it just put chills in my body. I'll take it. Aaron and I have come so far and we've bonded so much and now you know I adore her and she's one of my best friends so there was no way I was gonna not be there for her all right let's go oh my God. Coming up. Yeah. How are you, baby? How much longer do we hear anything? Uh, hopefully soon. She was trying to like hold on to it, but it was like the horse was going. I didn't know the extent of her injury. We didn't know if, uh, you know, she had a broken arm or if she was going to be okay or what. So just not knowing was, it was tough for both of us. Who, who saw Erin uh, last when she had the ambulance? I, when she, oh, oh yeah. I watched her fall off the horse in slow motion. It took off, so it threw her back off balance mm -hmm. and she went to the side. The horse was and like, she was trying to like hold on to it, but it was like the horse was going. Like, when Erin fell off the horse, I was pretty much front and center. I think I was the only one that saw it start to finish. It was really, it was really scary. I mean, it's just seeing that. I mean, I don't know. It was just, it was just really crazy to see. But her first fall was on her arm, and then she rolled over. Do you think it's broken? Oh, yeah, yeah I think it's broken. Really? For sure. It was swollen. Let's hope that it's not broken. Yeah. 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 yeah, but I kind of want to sign a cast, you know? Yeah, yeah, but let's hope that that's not the case. How much longer do we hear anything? I don't know. Hopefully soon. So after two hours of uh, Janelle and I waiting at the hospital, we uh, finally got word that uh, Aaron's gonna pull through. Hi, baby. You're okay. Oh, Hi, yeah. <laughs> you okay? You guys are oh. so sweet. So no broken bones? I'm scared, North. girl. What happened? Just uh, sprained or, or just uh, beat up? Yeah, just pretty much <laughs> beat up. up. It was just a bruise, so uh, she's ready to get out there and uh, do it again. Hopefully not fall. <laughs> so this is gonna stay wrapped on you? Yeah, they just want me to keep this for a couple days. And when I came out of the hospital, Jeff and Chanel were waiting. And it meant a lot, just because they're really genuinely worried about me. It was a beautiful moment. I was really impressed by Janelle and Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, no broken bones. So good. We were sitting around the campfire for hours waiting here from Jeff to make sure Aaron's all right. And finally, we heard back from Jeff and Aaron's fine. Hey, uh, really everyone listen up real quick. Just a bruise. Yay! I'm so happy she's OK. That sucks. We were on a vacation, and she had to get hurt. Yeah. But nothing was even broken. Yeah, which she was got so lucky. Very lucky. She fell off that big horse. So you guys, I have a special surprise for you. Um, I used to live in Nashville, and I, as everyone knows, sing. And I have a song specifically for you. When I'm on my own, out here all alone. Keely surprises with a song. She wrote it or something. The song, I think the song was like. It was boring. Yeah, she has a pretty voice, but whatever. Ever. You keep my company 
you know, the moment of crisis really, I think, just brought us all together because we were all so worried that, you know, nothing else really mattered at this point. It was just really, you know, about Aaron. Okay, enough <laughs> of the mushy stuff. Let's, let's do... Keely, that was great. Coming up, well, we're looking for somebody to run custom mobile airbrush division. No, we'll set up uh, interviews. Uh, we're probably going to have a few people outside the company. It's totally clear that I deserve that position. I think we need to saturate the LA market. Like, if I have to go door to door, I'll do whatever I have to do. Yes, hey, Jeff. Nice have a great day. It's a tough decision. Great. No, it's fine. Let's ignore the arm. <laughs> You're so tough. It's embarrassing. I'm so glad to be back home. Ty picked me up from the airport. He brought me flowers. He's so sweet. I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> what did you guys think of Nashville? It was a madhouse, huh? Yeah, I think we definitely uh, made an impact. Now that we're back from Nashville, it's time to get back to business. Look how many calls we're getting for custom in-home airbrushes. We can't even handle the calls. So we've come to the point where we have to launch a, a separate mobile custom airbrush division. It's become such a big thing to tan your house. There's so much more business we can bring to the company. So it's exciting times for us, and it's a, it's a big project to launch. Our uh, mobile tanning unit, uh, we like to call it the MTU. Well, we're looking for somebody that will actually you know, set up and run that division. The person for that job needs to be very qualified and, and very uh, motivated. If any of you are interested, let us know. We'll set up uh, interviews. Uh, we're probably going to have a few people outside the company, obviously. This could just explode into a huge separate business along with Sunset Tan. Absolutely. It's totally clear that I deserve that position. When they come, can you just send them in? We're here today to find somebody to head our custom mobile airbrush uh, division for Sunset Tan. It's a big position to fill. It's a lot of responsibility, but hopefully we'll find the right person today. So, I'm Look all business-like. Wow. I am. See what you got. OK. So you want to take the whole division and run with it, kind of come Basically, with ideas? Basically, I want to expand it, because okay. I think we're missing out on a lot of business. Number one is cost efficiency. Make you guys more money and save money for you guys. This is my resume. So you work in a tanning salon right now? Uh-huh. I'm very comfortable with naked people. <laughs> what kind of, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> that just threw me right there. Okay. That could be a plus. I took the time to do a 12-page wow. presentation of what I'm going to do for the company. You've done your homework, huh? Absolutely. Well, wow. absolutely. This is pretty impressive. Have you had any experience in the past on setting up a business? Absolutely, actually, when I worked at Best Buy. Well, I, I did run my own company. Um, what was that? Was completely, it was closet. I ran my own salon, and I made about $1,000 a day in revenue wow. for myself. What would you do? What would be some ideas as far as marketing? Um, I don't know. You guys put me on the spot. <laughs> marketing and advertising, um, co-branding opportunities right. with different businesses, for instance. I think we need to saturate the L.A. market. Starting a business from scratch, getting the people, making people excited about it is what I did, and I did it really well, so. We need to do target events, for instance, fashion shows. Like, if I have to go door to door, if I have to hand out cards, I'll do whatever I have to do. And as far as uh, hours you can put in a week to start this business to launch it, what do you think you can give us? Sleep, eat, and breathe. Wow. Just like that, huh? Yeah. Good Thank job, Keely. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. I appreciate you coming in. Absolutely. And we will definitely uh, get back to you. Thanks, Thanks for you, Janae. Have a great day. Thank you. Wow. It's a tough decision. Keely did a good job, but this is, you know, uh, this new girl, Janae. I mean, she went through and thought of everything, the hours, oh the bonuses, God. the marketing, I mean, the she, promos. I have a soft spot in my heart for Keely because she's been with us for so long, and I think she has the, the knowledge. Um, she seems motivated. Janae rocked it, man. I mean, she had an amazing presentation. Keely's great, too. You know, she's been loyal to the company. She's been a hard worker. Um, I would say the two candidates are uh, Janae and Keely. You know, maybe we let them gun, gun it out for the position. A toast! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to a fun night. The new Creek Sunset Tan. All of us are getting together tonight at Goa, and I brought Ty along so he can actually get to meet everybody. Guys, this is Ty, my boyfriend. Oh, I've heard all about you. Me too. This is him. I think Ty's really cute. Well, for Aaron. 
But we had lots of questioning to do. We were just trying to investigate Ty. So why do you cuddle with him? How about that? Is he hairy? Honestly, the second the Ollie girls asked about Ty, my heart dropped. Because he's such a good person, and I knew that they were getting ready to just start making fun of him. Did you get a perm, or is that natural? <laughs> I just need to know. I like it. Hello. There she is. How are you, Janae? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thanks for coming out. Some girl showed up to the Sunset Tan Click in a Bumblebee lingerie costume. If you're going to wear that, make sure it's Halloween. Hey, everyone. This is Janae. Janae's launching our, um, you know, mobile division with Keeley. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, yes. I mean, obviously, you've been with the company for three years. Uh-huh. Janae, you know, Janae completely knocked our socks off. So, obviously, that's why you're both here, and that's why you're both kind of doing the division. So, I think we expect big things from both of you, and we'll see what happens. I'm absolutely shocked that I have to share this position with some random girl off the street. I can't believe they're making me do this. Coming up. What do you think of Janae? Like, is there any brain cells going on over there? So every time I need to know to make you upset, I often say it's hmm to make you upset. And you're doing it really f***ing good. I would Damn. back down, girl. I'm from the country. I would throw you over the edge. Steely's pissed. Like, literally. You know, we figured we have both of them, you know, kind of gunning it out. You know, Janae came in solid, uh, very experienced, uh, very knowledgeable. And uh, we have Keely, you know, great manager. So instead of picking one or the other, we figure let them both hammer it out and uh, may the best woman, man, win. Hey, I'm up for any challenge. You know me. Uh, I, got a, I got a hard cookie here, though. No. I'm a soft one. Keely, you come on now. I know we got a challenge. I've, I've been through it. I've been through all the, the obstacle courses at Sunset Tan already. I mean, you look like the queen bee in the house. I know. Why does everybody look like they're going to like a lingerie no, bedtime party? Strippers. She just caught me giving her the most dirtiest look. <laughs> I just don't get why she would come to a club looking like a whore. Oh. So much drama. And I looked at Ty, I'm like, now you see what I'm saying. And this is normal. Like, this is how it goes at Sunset Tan. Like, we can't get everyone together without all this drama. My the boobs are hanging out. Things were getting a little tense, you know. People, uh, there's some haterade going around. Doing whatever it is to stir up the, the pot. Janae is new to the company, so I wanted to feel, have her feel comfortable. So I wanted to take her outside and just kind of talk to her in private. That's yeah. up. She still needs to go through training, regardless. Like, her business. Are you pissed about that? Yeah, it kind of irritates me, but That's like when stupid Heidi came in and she wanted to be manager off the bat. It was like, you can't just start like that. I'm really excited about working for the company and doing the mobile, mm -hmm. mobile division, but I mean, it's kind of like pit bull society like everybody's like hard on me you're new it's like there there's a little jealousy what do you think of janae wow like are there any brain cells going on over there and that's how jeff likes them right <laughs> keely's been with us for three years okay she's been a great employee we owe keely but i just want you to know that Devin and i were very impressed by you and you were very professional and um we're excited to bring you on board the Ollies wanted me to come out and clear the air with Janae, and I have no interest. I know where this is all heading, and it's nothing but trouble. What's up? What's up? Okay, listen. Janae came in. We didn't know her from Michigan. She brought us this amazing, like you guys brought in, an amazing proposal. And if you're working together, so you might as well get along right now. We're not There's saying no anything tension. bad about you. Well, the way that you've been looking at me all night is rude bitch comments. <laughs> you don't even know us and you got a smart ass attitude. What the uh, f hey. Come with me, come. Let's do it. Guys, it's guys. like you don't even know me and you just had to have a smart ass attitude. You can't even come up and shake my hand and say, hi, nice to meet you. No, you've been giving me dirty looks and I will not put up with it. I won't. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's not a dirty look. It's not a dirty look. Mm. Okay, let's let's rewind. Fine, yeah. you know, mm. That just wasn't cool. Like if we would have done that to you, it'd been it's just so a key. It's funny that I was gonna say it's mm. to make you upset. And you're doing it really good. I would Sorry. back down, girl. I'm from the country. I would throw you off the edge. Oh my God, we don't need to go there. You know, unfortunately, we couldn't avoid another fight. You know, I guess all that bonding in Nashville just um, didn't last. Did you not just hear what we said? We I came out here to meet you to make your cool. Like a crazy Welcome to Sunset Tan. <laughs> Next on Sunset Tan. This is my first big client for Sunset Tan. Turn around and face me. You're not gonna believe what Keely said at the dinner. She called you a oh, her. I can't believe that's my last day. We wish you the best in Vegas. Congratulations. Yeah. Initiation. Ah! Because I'm not gay. I will throw 
this in your face, I never oh, said you were gay. Oh. Oh. What the f*** are you doing? Hey, you're either a f*** or you are gay.